Good morning, it is Tuesday. Today is the second full week of school and it's our first week of curriculum. So I figured I would vlog. It is 6.41, I'm heading to school a little bit early. I've been making this DIY breakfast sandwich. Um, it's like a copycat of a local coffee shop. So basically, um, it's a Portuguese muffin put original hummus on it. I cut up avocado and put thin slices on there and then spinach on top. But it is so good together. And then this little DIY drink is just the Tazo brand um, classic chai latte in like the box, like the shelf life thing that they sell mixed with almond milk eggnog and it's really good. For my outfit today, I'm just like ignoring the fact that it's gonna be 75 degrees and I'm just embracing fall. So I'm wearing this cute like I don't know, like rusty pinkish sweater with black leggings because it's really long. And then my little brown booties. I'll insert a picture here if I don't get to show you guys. If you are new, I'm a first year fifth grade teacher in Massachusetts. Definitely hit the subscribe button and to stay up to date with all my teaching related videos. All my links are linked down below in the link tree link. It has my Amazon storefront, my teacher gram, all that fun stuff. <laughs> So today was the second day of curriculum. It was pretty good. Math actually went like surprisingly well. I was kind of scared that like the kids were like not gonna get it at all because we jumped right into exponents. Exponents was the first lesson for Envision, so I just went with it. I was kind of debating like switching to order some stuff, which I may still do of course, but I just decided to stick with how it is for the first week. We didn't get to the exit ticket, so I'm going to have them do that tomorrow morning um, just to kind of gauge where they are because the ones who did turn it in, they definitely demonstrated that they got it because that was their independent work um, and we didn't really talk about it, so they got it. But those who didn't turn it in or were having trouble loading stuff, I have to see like where they're at with it um, but we're moving on to place value we also have to take um, testing this week we use star testing for math and ELA um, and we need to ensure that students are like actually like on the website and not like getting help from anyone and stuff so their video camera needs to be on and we need to be looking at their screen we have like this really cool extension um, on all the Chromebooks in the district that you can like see their screen in live time which is like super creepy but really helpful especially if they're having a problem like you can go onto their screen and see what they're seeing using that while they're testing on Friday but I'm thinking we might have to take another Friday to do the math portion so like I'm gonna start out with the ELA one or like vice versa it doesn't really matter so this Friday I'm gonna have them all do like ELA star testing and then next Friday do math and I'm doing it on Friday because we don't have science and we technically have like an extra hour that we wouldn't normally have Monday through Thursday um, even though it's the same 8 15 to 12 15 on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, we have science, which cuts out an hour, technically, of, like, my time. And then on Wednesdays, we have specials, which is the last hour from 11.15 to 12.15. So, basically, we only really go three hours a day, like, with the stuff I plan. So, I'm going to take Friday for them to do testing, and then I hope we have time, which I'm sure we will, to do a directed drawing at the end to kind of remedy the fact that I just made them take this test. They really liked our directed drawing last week. They voted between Fall Guys, Pikachu, and like a candy bar with eyes, and they voted for Pikachu. So I asked them to send me their requests for the next directed drawing, and we'll see um, what they want to draw. Overall, it's just, it's really going so well, and you know, for what we have in this situation, like, it's as good as it's gonna get, and I'm really grateful for that. Like, obviously, fifth grade is pretty somewhat independent with, like, being online and using technology, um, even though you'd be surprised. <laughs> Some things are difficult for them, um, even just little things from, like, adding a text box on Google Drive, which I've just took it upon myself to add the text boxes to everything. Um, and I type type your answer here and them and then I just copy and paste them where they need to type because um, that's just you know a thing to make it easier for them and we really shouldn't be testing you know how savvy they are with technology it's more about like are you like getting the information we're trying to give you here like I said overall it's going really well I'm just like feeling pretty happy about it it is hard it's tiring it's tiring on my eyes it's tiring on my brain and it's just it really is exhausting, honestly, just being on the computer all day and teaching. 
Um, but we start hybrid October 19th and I really hope it stays that way because I'm like ready for kids to be in the classroom. I definitely think the kids are enjoying like being in a routine again for school. Even though it is online, it's not ideal. They're definitely like liking the routine. Like we do the same things every day. We do our daily check-in in the morning. They submit that on Google Classroom the first five minutes of our Google Meet. I do the countdown starting at 8.10 for five minutes because we start at 8.15 and they like like hearing the same song every morning. So just being able to like find comfort in those like random like mundane routines so i think i'm gonna finish planning for tomorrow which is wednesday and hopefully get a head start on thursday because i hate only being like one step ahead like not even one step like a half step ahead but it's kind of hard because i need to wait to see like how they react to things how the lesson went so i'm not trying to plan too much ahead but i think like with the system i have going it, i'm able to plan ahead in the sense that i can just have all my slides prepared and then um the only thing I would really have to change is the actual math and ELA content on each slide, if that makes sense. And I usually take screenshots from like our math app or our ELA app and put it into my slides so that just in case the kids can't get onto their online textbook, they can see my slides and work from there. Okay, so this is how math is looking, and this is basically how it looks every day. I just go over our agenda for math and ELA every day. So for math, it's our activator or warm-up model, guided practice, independent practice, and exit ticket. Just have my Bitmoji. That is more accurate than they know. Then tomorrow, this is a little different. Since we didn't finish the exit ticket from yesterday, I'm just going to have them do the exit ticket as like an extra warm-up. And then this is their activator. And then I'm going to be modeling. For guided practice, I am hoping for 20 minutes that we can have to go through this together. And then 20 minutes for their independent practice. I'm probably going to change that timer to 5 minutes, but this is their exit ticket. They submit on Google Classroom. Then we have a brain break. And then we're going to move into ELA. So tomorrow, this changes a lot with ELA because we're going off of wonders and each day is kind of different. Um, so tomorrow I'm reviewing vocabulary again because I feel like um, I really want them to be using the vocabulary. So we're going to talk more about that and then we're going to do a quick 10 minute phonics little lesson. Um, read our anchor text, well half of it, and then do a cause and effect graphic organizer and then they can work on grammar and spelling games when they're done with that. So this will be like independent work. We'll go over the organizer like before we start reading. But then this is like their independent work. So we're just going to go over narrative nonfiction real quick. Do our vocabulary, phonics, anchor text. I need to grab the images and the links for these. And then I just remind them they're supposed to be on ST Math and Lexia for 30 minutes a day from 1 to 2. And then we do our choose a way to say goodbye. So those are the slides. I just need to add a few things over here. So that was my Tuesday teacher day in my life. I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely want to do like a morning routine soon, but I feel like the lighting is just so terrible in the morning. So I hope this was somewhat interesting. I don't know. I feel like these vlogs are kind of just not it, but we're trying. And Shakira from At Saved by the Bell talks about YouTube, you know, being like your diary. And I totally agree with that. And I really just want to keep vlogging, even though they might not be super interesting to you. Like, they're also memories for me. So... If you like it, I'm so glad. If not, you don't have to watch, obviously, but I'm trying. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.